All right, hello everyone. My name is Bianca Brooks and welcome to my story time. This is my first ever story time and it was of my train ride home. So here it goes. I was coming home from the set. You know, I vlogged that same day I filmed for a Lifetime show. And I was on, um, what stop was it? It was Grand Central. And then this woman comes on wearing some flip-flops, um, I didn't really think much of it and I, I had my head like this and I had my headphones in but I wasn't listening to music and there were three construction workers who were sitting next to me so on the next stop I guess this girl came on who had a, like a foot brace or a band-aid like she had something on her foot but mind you I had not looked that way yet I was still looking this way I was just thinking about life and everything else and this this woman she asked the girl oh do you want somewhere to sit i already knew this was going to be a problem i already knew this was going to be a problem and then she's like no it's okay she's like no it's not okay you're injured you should be sitting down so she taps me on the shoulder mind you i'm like facing this way looking away from their direction and and then they're kind of like standing behind me so she I'm not even looking at her. It's not even like I was looking this way and then I looked away. I never looked in that direction. I'm looking this way. She taps me on my shoulder. She's like, oh, can you get up to give her your seat? So I asked her, well, why didn't you ask the three construction workers who are sitting next to me? A man should get up to give a woman their seat. She's like, that's not what I asked you. I asked you, can you get up and give her your seat? And I said, and why can't you ask one of the three men who are sitting next to me? Because a man is supposed to get up and give a woman their seat and then me and her get into a little back and forth and there was an old lady who did agree with me a man is supposed to get up and give a woman his seat she was standing in front of one of the construction workers the girl with the band-aid foot was standing in front of another one so to go out of your way to you know tap me on the shoulder and it's like my whole body language said I did not want to be bothered. I did not want to be approached. I did not want to be spoken to. So for you to go out of your way and do that, obviously you want, a, I don't know, a scene, a problem. I don't know what it is. So then she told me that, you know, uh, I, basically she thought I was a teenager and I had to let her know I'm not a teenager. I'm 23 and she's like, I'm 28 and I'm great. I'm like, great. So we're both adults here. And now that you understand that, you know, you can't, I don't know. I don't understand where people come off doing things like this. You can't offer someone else's seat. Hello? There are a lot of crazy people on the train in New York, by the way. If you guys ever come here to visit as tourists, there are a lot of crazy people on the train. So then I take out my phone and I'm like, well, since you have so much to say, maybe you want to say it to my YouTube channel. Right then and there, she had nothing to say. That's why I didn't upload the video because she didn't say anything at that point. All of a sudden, she was quiet. At the next stop, she got off. At the next stop. And I would have, and the girl, she was uh, the one with the band-aid foot who she wanted me to get up for. She was more than embarrassed because in the first place, she said she did not have a problem standing. And then this whole situation escalated. And then I took out my phone and me and the girls arguing back and forth. And But I will say this. She acted like, for sure, she did not want to be seen on camera because she got off at the next stop, which I could respect her, her for because I feel like an even, I do feel like she was crazy, but I feel like a crazier person would have kept going and caused a scene. You know how some of you people do. You guys get so excited when somebody screams world star. It's true, and you know it's true. And I just felt like, you ever felt like you would have done something on your own, but because of the way somebody else handled it on their end, now you're not going to do it? Yeah. So then, and keep in mind, me and this woman were going at it for like three stops. And in those three stops, nobody got up to give that girl their seat. And eventually, I did get up and give her my seat when the girl had left when I started recording her and she just walked out. But it's just the way that you go about it. You don't offer my seat. That's why I had to stay seated like, no, you cannot offer my seat. <laughs> Probably would have been petty. Rode that Q train all the way to the last stop and then rode it back up. But seriously, though, you cannot offer somebody else's seat. 
So let me know what you think. And I did share this story with my friends and my friends' friends, not my friends, because I told you I have a, a small group of friends, said that if they were there, they would have fought her, which to me, that would have just been pointless. Like, why would I fight her? I, I, it's not a situation. Like, I feel like you fight somebody if you have to defend yourself. Um, so, or they're like, well, I feel like, you know, people can't be getting disrespected. And I'm like, I didn't feel disrespected. I feel that she was mistaken and quickly corrected, but I surely didn't feel disrespected. And, you know, I like the way I handled it because the reality is that if I would have started screaming, people would have thought I was a black ghetto girl. They would have thought I was ratchet. They would have just thought I was all sort of negative things. Not knowing that probably a couple stops before this woman said something to me to provoke me. Like, you can't offer somebody else my seat. Why do you not know that? And I knew. I already knew. When she came on the train and she was wearing flip-flops, but she didn't have her toes done, I knew it was a problem. Anybody that wears open-toed shoes and doesn't get a pedicure first is a problem. I knew. I already knew it was going to be some drama with this woman. But you comment below and you let me know what you think. Did you think I handled it the right way? Would you have handled it differently? 